First up, we have 1980 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, this 1980 double die obverse is considered a very scarce variety despite having a very large mintage for this year. Though not as popular as other double dies in the series, such as the 1972, 1983, 1984 and 1995 double dies. Mainly due to the 1980 double die being scarce or therefore less popular. This variety is strong enough that it can be seen with the naked eye. It was sold for $1,316.25 with buyer's fee. Next up. 1980s Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is an absolute numismatic pinnacle that achieved highest grade available in numismatics, displays needle sharp strike, immaculate surface preservation and luster. Eye-catching copper orange surfaces are pristine. It was sold for $3,120. 1980 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus read by PCGS. The 1980p Lincoln Cent is very common as the US Mint struck over 7.4 billion examples. Examples up to MS66 condition are easy to locate. In MS67 they are scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. This plus designated specimen was sold for $2,300.62 with buyer's fee. Moving on to 1980D Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 with full steps by PCGS. According to Grading Service, over half a million 1980D Jefferson Nickels were struck, therefore making it very common. However, with the full steps designation this issue is very scarce in MS65 full steps and higher. In MS66 full steps it is really scarce with less than 100 examples known. This Denver struck full steps gem ended up selling for $3,120. Here is 1980p Anthony Dollar in Mint State 68. The second year of the mini dollar witnessed significantly lower mintages, as it was by then apparent that the coin was rejected in commerce. The diameter was too close to a quarter, and the paper dollar was more familiar. The present lustrous and crisply struck example has light green gold and pearl gray toning. It was sold for $4,600. Next up. 1980p Washington Quarter. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of January 2024, a Washington Quarter from 1980 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 85 cents. However, on the open market 1980p quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $100. MS-68 specimens like this one are rare and fetch significant values at auctions. This example ended up selling for $4,674.38 with buyer's fee. 1980D Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The bold strike and seemingly flawless, brilliant surfaces deliver virtually unrivaled visual appeal, making this coin truly the ultimate when it comes to this issue. It was sold for $4,935. Moving on to this 1980p Jefferson nickel mated pair with one cent blank coin. According to Heritage Auctions, this is a highly unusual mated pair of nickels. One piece is a standard nickel, the other is a nickel struck on a cent planchet. The distended portion of the nickel shows a faint imprint of the letters Ribus UN. The distended part of the struck cent planchet has the same letters, only backward. These letters also are a partial brockage. Apparently these oddities were discovered soon after minting as both pieces are well preserved. The reverse of the nickel struck on the copper planchet shows a bit of blue patina, rather than full red. This mated pair fetched a sum of $7,475. As we conclude our exploration into the world of these elusive 1980 coins, I want to express my gratitude to each one of you who shared your experiences and insights in the comments. Remember, these coins are not just pieces of metal, they're historical artifacts that carry stories and value. To all the collectors out there, safeguard those coins, and who knows, in a few years, they might become even more valuable. Until our next numismatic adventure, happy collecting, and may your coin hunts be both thrilling and rewarding.